welcome and thank you so much for checking out my review of Bombshell, the latest film by Jay Roach starring Charlize Theron, Nicole Kidman and Margot Robbie. It explores the group of women that took on Fox News head Roger Rails and the toxic atmosphere with which he presided over at the network. This is a very well known story that blew over just a few years ago with very well known personalities. It was a clusterfuck, it took a lot of people out of the job, deservedly so, and it brought forward a lot of crimes, to be frank. And I was really looking forward to this film, not only because I'm a fan of Jay Roach's work, I'm a fan of the entire cast, and I am a fan of Charles Randolph, the writer of the film, he wrote The Big Short, I have been a fan of his ever since. I love this dude's style of writing. I'm not the biggest fan of how they execute his style of writing, but we'll get into it. Let's start with the performances, which are, I believe, the main draw because those are the biggest names and they are playing the biggest personalities related to this film. Everyone does a spectacular job. Charlize Theron rules this movie. This is her movie. It's a movie for all of these women that came forward. It's very much their stories and the courage that it took for them to come forward with the truth, but it's very much led on by Charlize and she does a phenomenal job as Megan Kelly. So does Nicole Kidman as Gretchen Carlson and Margot Robbie as a conglomerate of several people that worked at Fox News and had unfortunate experiences. But we must talk about John Lithgow as Roger Ailes. This has got to be one of the most vile, just slimy, disgusting villains of 2019. John Lithgow couldn't be a sweeter person in real life, at least from what I get, it, watching interviews with him, watching him in red carpets, watching him in talk shows. But he's such a great actor and he has a great career playing villains. But this dude, knowing that this dude was real and how he's presented in this film is just... Ah, you don't... You seriously don't want anything to do with this motherfucker. <laughs> He's seriously vile. I think that's the best word I can describe him, is vile. Absolutely disgusting human being. J. Roach directs this film in a very engaging way, as it keeps a mystery at who was actually harassed, who wasn't. It explores why people decide to be on this side or on another side, and it takes its time with its characters, and I appreciated that. You feel like you really get to know these characters through their careers, the experiences, good and bad, that they had of working at Fox News. So I like getting taken into that world and feeling immersed in that world with all these personalities, and I thought Jay Roach did a great job at that. Again, with a very great help from the script, by Charles Randolph. As I said, I'm a big fan of The Big Short. That movie was executed in such an electrifying, dynamic way, made me understand so much. And I don't think it applies to every movie. Just last year, even though it wasn't written by Charles Randolph, Vice took very much a lot of things from Big Short. It was directed by Adam McKay, who also directed The Big Short, but the execution just didn't work. In this case, I don't think it's as bad. I really like Bombshell. I think it's a very good movie. But there are moments where it kind of wants to feel very journalistically driven or very documentary driven. And you have these shots of people just sitting. And they're talking to someone sitting in front of them. But then the shot doesn't stop. The shot starts here, then you can see it moving, jiggling around, and then it zooms in on the people, and it constantly does that, and it just took me out. There is also this mechanism of narration, but it's just done like once or twice for the three characters played by Margot Robbie, Nicole Kidman, and Charlize Theron. It's done once or twice, even with one of them, I think it's just done at the end, and it doesn't really come across as essential to the film. Everything that they said on the narration, I 
enjoyed, I guess, but I felt like the movie didn't need it. In fact, it very much felt like exposition, like characters saying, I did this and this and this during my life, and now they're here in this situation. So it felt very much like an unnecessary add-on. I also wasn't a fan of fourth wall breaking moments. Much like the narration, they don't happen a lot. But whenever they happen, they are absolutely distracting. They absolutely took me out of the film. I just did not enjoy them. They didn't fit in this film. The film didn't need them whatsoever. But I was a fan of the minimal use of score. I was a fan of very tense sequences in Roger Ailes' office. Whether they're flashbacks or they're this one scene with Margot Robbie which I'm not going to spoil anything, but Jesus fucking Christ. Everything that I've said about the character when I was talking about John Lithgow's performance, I bring you back to that right now. That scene made me shiver. It's absolutely, again, it's vile. It's absolutely vile. This is a film I wanted to love, and even though I didn't love it, I really liked it. I love a lot of things in it, I just don't love the whole package. This is an absolute recommend, nonetheless. I urge you to see this film. The direction is great. And again, the performances are all around superb, with a lot of surprising cameos that I did not expect. I'm giving Bombshell a B, which actually fits Bombshell B. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. Let me know your thoughts on the film in the comments below. And let me know what is your favorite true story in the past five years. I feel like I just asked you this on my Richard Jewel review. But whatever. Bring it on again in the comments below. And thank you so much once more for watching my beautiful geekies. You are the best. In the next few days, I'll have reviews for Little Women, 1917, The Gentleman, and many, many others. Once more, thank you. You are the best forever and always. And don't forget, until the next video, to stay beautiful, stay geeky, and subscribe and like the video because it really helps me out. But most importantly, above everything else, forever and always, love each other and love the movies.